Hey guys, it's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations. And today I wanted to do a little bit of a branch off from the unicorn burst tumbler that I did and show everyone how to make a unicorn burst epoxy pen. And I'm also going to incorporate a really neat giveaway into this tutorial here. So make sure and stay tuned for the details on the giveaway. So before we get started, check out this super cool pin turner attachment. So this part right here, it actually screws down onto your PVC. You have a drying stand here, you have a wand or a saber, and then you have a clip that is going to clip down into your pin instead of having to use a dowel rod. So I'll show you how all that works in just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and get started by taking this pin apart. And I'm just gonna twist the tip off, take all the guts out, and set them somewhere safe. And after you do that, you're going to just twist the, the clip off. It comes off pretty easily. And then I like to take a craft knife and cutting away from you, there's a little knob, um, a little bump. You wanna cut that off and then you wanna cut the part where you had twisted off the pin clip. And then on the other side, there's another little bump that you wanna cut off as well. And like I said, cutting away from you, just cut them off really easy. Next, I'm going to take a piece of sandpaper, and I personally like to use 220 grit sandpaper. I buy it on Amazon. I will link it down in the description box below for you. And pull the backing off of it, and I like to do that because it makes it stick to my fingers. And then I just give the pen a good sanding. You don't have to get crazy with it or anything. Just rough it up so that the epoxy and paint is sure to stick to it. and you can sand over the rubbery part too. That's not gonna hurt anything. Like I said, I just sand the entire pen, just enough to rough it up, and then there you go. So after that, I'm going to take a little cotton pad with some rubbing alcohol on it, and I'm just going to wipe the pen clean. I'm gonna get off any dust from sanding and just wipe it down real good. Okay, so you know how I said earlier how you can actually replace the dowel with this thing? Look at this, it just clips right in, it slides right in there, and it holds the pin perfectly. It's got these little things, you kinda just squeeze them together and you slide them right in there inside the big side of the pin, and it slides right in. This is the turner attachment, and look at that, it just clips right in, it sits on your turner and it spins the pin perfectly and level. This is the drying rack here, and it just sits right down into the drying rack, clips right in. Here's a few others so you can see how they work, and they come in and out really easily. Okay, so now I'm going to take my wand or saber, and I'm going to use this Krylon Color Max. It's a flat white spray paint, and I'm gonna take my pen outside, spray it down real good. Once I have a good base coat of this white flat spray paint, I'm gonna bring it back inside, put it on my drying rack, and let it dry. Okay, so now that my white spray paint is completely dry, I am going to take these three paint colors that I got from Apple Barrel Paint, and I got them on Amazon. I will also link them down in the description box below. And the three colors I'm going to use is Bimini Blue, and I'm just gonna take a little small piece of wax paper, dab it on there, just a small little dot is all you need. You don't need much, we're not covering much surface at all. So this is a Bimini Blue. The next color is Bright Yellow, and I'm gonna put another little dab right there. And the last color is Fuchsia. And I will also put a little dab of that down. And I've got three different little paint brushes that I also got from Amazon. I'm gonna put my wand on here so that it is easier to handle my pen and it was at this point that I noticed my pen has this weird like little crook to it and it actually bends all weird I'm not really sure why uh, <laughs> I don't know but we're just gonna roll with it so I take my paintbrush and I dip it into my blue paint it doesn't matter what color of paint you start with but I'm just going to spiral the paint all the way around the pen and you don't have to use the exact same colors that I used. You can use any, any similar colors that you think would look pretty on this pen. Um, these are just, this is the yellow, blue, and pink that I happen to have laying around the house. And 
Also, if you haven't checked out my tutorial on how I did the unicorn burst tumbler, you should definitely check it out. I will link it down in the description box below for you. So make sure check it out. And it's basically the same exact process as this pen, just a larger version of it. Once I kind of have it laid out of how I want my blue kind of spiraling around the pen, I'm gonna move in with the yellow next and I'm just going to follow that blue around. And I don't want the yellow or the yellow and blue to mix really much just yet. I just want to kind of lay out my base colors and then after I get my base colors down, my yellow, blue, and pink, I will then go back and start trying to mix the colors right where they meet. So yellow and blue make green. So I will go in and and basically mix the colors right there along the lines where they meet. If you notice, I'm not going all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom of the pen with the paint. I'm just getting somewhat close. We're actually gonna go in once we get our paint how we want it and dry. We're gonna go in with a spray paint and paint the top and bottom with spray paint, creating kind of an ombre effect. So the top and bottom is actually gonna be just solid white and it's gonna kind of ombre into the rainbow colors that wrap around the pen. So while I'm laying out these colors on the pen, I just wanna go ahead and take a minute and talk about the company who created these pen turner attachments and all of the accessories that go along with it. And it's actually a guy named Danny with Imagination 3D. I've spoken pretty extensively over the last few weeks with Danny and his wife, Jessica, about the products. And I have just been so incredibly impressed with their customer service and the quality of the products that they offer. So over the past few months since making my first pen tutorial video, I've seen a lot of frustration with some people who have issues with the dowel rods and getting them stuck on their pens. And this offers a really nice alternative to using the dowel rods. With this, the clip goes inside the pen perfectly and the way that it kind of grabs the inside of the pen, no part of the outside of the pen touches the clip and the attachment if that makes sense so if you don't have to worry about getting your pen stuck to it you really shouldn't have any issues getting your pen stuck to this product here with the way that it is designed Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the color layout that I have here on the pen. So I'm going to start blending my two colors together. I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and a little bit of blue and I'm going to make green. And I'm gonna take that green and I'm just going to run it right along where the yellow and blue meet and just blend it in so that it, it all the colors kind of just flow together. Once I'm happy with the how that looks, I'm going to rinse that brush off and I'm going to start with my next color. I'm gonna take the pink and I'm going to blend that in with the blue and we're going to make a pretty purple color with the pink and the blue and just work my way around the pen doing the exact same thing that I did with the green, just blending the pink and blue together. And then once I'm done with that color, I'm going to move on to the yellow and the pink and I'm gonna make orange and I'm going to blend the yellow and pink together with the orange. So you still want the yellow, the pink and the blue to show, but you want the orange, the green and the purple to separate the colors where they all just blend together, creating a really pretty rainbow effect that wraps around the pen.
Now that I am happy with my colors, I'm going to stick my pen on my drying rack to completely dry before I move on to this next part. So now I'm going to take my Krylon flat white spray paint again, take my pen outside, and I'm going to spray just the top part of the pen and the bottom part of the pen. As you can see here, I already went outside and sprayed it. And I just want it to spray the top and bottom and it's going to kind of ombre and just leave the color, the rainbow twisty color in the center. And after that, this part needs to 100% completely dry before we move on to the Tack It Over and Over by Eileen's. So we are going to apply the glitter to this pen using the Tack It method. And to do that, you take this product, it's called Tack It Over and Over, and you wanna take about a 50-50 Tack It and water mixture. Just mix it up really good. It makes a real watery, soupy consistency. And once you have that mixed thoroughly, you're going to take a little paintbrush and we'll brush it on. And you'll see how I apply that here in just a little bit. I'm trying to get my consistency just right before we do that though. Okay, so I am happy with my consistency. I'm going to take my paintbrush and I've got my attachment here and I'm going to just paint it on the pen. You don't wanna leave it streaky but you do want to get a decent amount on the pen. Just like I said, don't leave big streaks or anything. Just get a nice even coat on there. It doesn't have to be a heavy coat at all. A nice even light coat that gets good coverage on the pen. Be very careful around the end. You don't want to shove that stuff down in the hole on the end. So I got good coverage on there and I'm going to let it dry. Now, when I say let it dry, it is going to be sticky to the touch. It's gonna dry, the water portion of it's gonna dry, but it's going to remain sticky. So the product, the glitter that I'm going to use on this pen is my absolute favorite. It is called Opalina. It is by BJ's Glitter. And if you don't have some of this magical glitter, you have got to get some of this in your life. And I have got a special coupon code for BJ's Glitter. I will link it down in the description box below along with their link, so be sure to check it out. So I went ahead and sprinkled the Opalina Glitter on here freely, and I'm going to now take my finger and once it's on there, I'm just going to spread it around. And it's basically going to make that glitter lay flat. And this is where the magic happens. This is going to make the colors behind this glitter absolutely pop. It, it's absolutely gorgeous. It makes such a difference from just sprinkling the glitter on and then actually spreading it down. It makes it just beautiful. And you wanna make sure that you really knock this glitter down and rub it down. And you really can't be too forceful with it. You just rub it down and you're gonna do the whole pen really good and I started off with the finger cut on because I don't like getting glitter all over my hands if I can help it just because it's gonna end up in all my other projects but I just decided forget it I ditched the finger cut and decided I'm just gonna be glittery so I can actually feel the glitter a lot better with my bare hands my bare fingers so you don't have to do multiple layers of opalina. I just kind of felt like my finger caught was kind of like knocking the glitter off a little bit too much. So I, I did sprinkle a little bit more glitter on there and went back over it, rubbing it down real good just to create that beautiful tacket look with the glitter on the pin. And now that I'm happy with my coverage of the Opalina glitter via the Tacket method, it is time to mix up some epoxy. Now you don't have to let it dry after applying the, uh, uh, the glitter via the Tacket method. You can go straight to epoxy. Some people like to spray a light coat of uh, clear spray paint because some epoxies tend to, it, the glitter with it laying flat like that, it tends to try to repel some epoxies. I don't have any problem. I use Tumblr Poxy Epoxy and I don't have any problems with the Tacket method trying to repel any of my glitter, I mean any of my epoxy. So I don't have to spray it with a clear spray paint at all. Right after that, right after I apply it via the Tacket method, I go straight to epoxy. And I'm just going to get 
a nice even coat of epoxy on the pen and I as you can see I take very very special care on the ends and I don't push any epoxy into the ends I am very careful I just kind of move it around the end there and then as I brush it down the pen I start at the middle and I push out as I work my way around the pen getting good coverage over the entire pen look how beautiful those rainbow colors are underneath that opalina glitter all right so next I'm going to take kaleidoscope kaleidoscope is also by BJ's glitter and I'm going to basically just sprinkle it very lightly around the center portion of the pen I only want it to cover right there where the rainbow effect is so the the chunky glitter kind of just like bursts out of the rainbow area so that's just kind of try to keep it somewhat controlled to the middle of the pen here and you can tilt your pen one way or the other just so that it almost kind of flows down into the rest of the pen but as you can see I've tried to concentrate it right here on the center once I'm happy with my kaleidoscope chunky glitter I am just going to take a piece of wax paper and just tap it down I don't want any crazy pieces sticking up or anything like that I just want to give it a real light little tap tap and lay it down so that it lays on that epoxy really nice and smooth so that on our next couple coats of epoxy we don't have any issues so here is the pin it is ready to spin look how easy it just clips in here with these other pins and it is going to sit there and spin i'm gonna let it spin for the next four to six hours or so until it's dry enough so that i don't have to worry about the epoxy trying to run off as it dries i just want it to spin and dry nice and level so once that is dry i'm going to put a, another coat of epoxy on and we're going to coat over that chunky glitter so want to make sure and get really good coverage i'm going to do the exact same thing that we did on the last coat of epoxy i always like to start at the middle here and work my way out taking very very super care on the ends that you don't push any epoxy inside that's where a lot of people are having issues they're pushing epoxy either on the end where the dowel or attachment goes in or on the end where the clicker is and then they can get the clicker back into place All right, so now that that coat of epoxy is on, look how beautiful that is. I'm going to torch it really quick, pop any little micro bubbles that may be trying to hang out and make sure that the epoxy just flows nice and evenly and smoothly on there. I've got my turner on and I'm going to clip my pin right back into its place here on the turner and let it keep spinning. I cannot get over that little crook, like how the pin is crooked, I just don't understand. I guess it came like that. I don't know if it got damaged in shipping whenever it was shipped to me, but I just don't even know what to think about the, the bend in the pen. Hey, it's a good practice pen to show y'all how to how to make it <laughs> make this pen for a tutorial, but it's definitely not not sellable being crooked like that. So I am now putting another coat of epoxy on. I want two coats of epoxy over my chunky glitter just to make sure that I don't have any lumps or bumps and this kaleidoscope chunky glitter that I used to create the burst look over the rainbow actually laid down really really well and I didn't have to sand this pen at all and I think a lot of people think that think that they have to sand their pens after two coats of epoxy you don't have to sand your pens after two coats of epoxy if your pen is smooth and the nice thing about the tacket method is it's you're not going to have any chunks that stick up so most of the time you're not going to have to do any kind of sanding with the tacket method so i let it spin for another probably 10 hours so that it was completely dry and it is time to put the pen back together so i'm going to take my little clicker pieces here stick them down in the end put my ink tube in there and then twist my cap back on 
and even though the pin has this weird bend in it, it still works perfectly fine. So let's talk about the giveaway now. I am going to link Imagination 3D's website down in the description box below, but to enter the giveaway, here is our rules. It is US participants only. To be eligible to enter the drawing, you need to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down in the comment box below that you would like to be entered into the giveaway. The giveaway will run from today's date through March 27th, 2021. The winner will be randomly selected. If you are picked as the winner, I will update the description box on the video listing as you being the winner and I will reply to your comment advising that you are the winner. So be sure to keep an eye out for March 27th, 2021. The Turner attachment will be shipped to you at no cost in the US only. As I previously mentioned, you gotta be in the US to be part of this. Shipping is just entirely too expensive right now to try to ship outside of the US. One last thing, YouTube is not responsible for this giveaway in any form or fashion. This giveaway is strictly between me, Christy's Custom Creations, and Imagination 3D. So, as always, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Also, to be entered into the drawing, hit the like and subscribe button and comment below. And I cannot wait to see who the winner is, who gets this awesome, awesome pin turner attachment and everything that comes along with it. Good luck. I hope everyone has a great day. Y'all take care. Bye.